Hi everyone, it's F Sketch Your Fashion Drone Tutorials and in this lesson we're going to render this amazing look from Prada Fall 2016 Ready to Wear collection and we will learn how to render brocades and we will draw this amazing uh, bag and this print on her skirts and many more. So here is the equipment that you need. You don't need exactly this one, but uh, matching colors and I will tell the names of the markers on the way. So first we're going to draw a sketch. And usually I start with a rough draft. I draw egg-like head in the center. And in this case, it's just, you know, a straight looking face at a usual angle and then I'm drawing um, slightly sloped shoulders and hips sloped in opposite direction. And as a result, the spine is a bit curved. So now I'm going to refine her head. L right in the middle, I have horizontal line. And on that line, I'm drawing the eyes. And then uh, slightly above the center of the lower half, I'm drawing nose and then lips. Don't worry, like, uh, just draw and then you can fix things and symmetry. So, eyebrows. Next, below your eyes, between eyes and nose, I'm drawing cheekbones. Then I'm drawing your chin. And just connect cheekbones with the chin. And I get this jawline. To fix the symmetry, just turn the image upside down and you will see any mistakes. So here I have like, I think asymmetry was obvious before, but now I can see it clearly. So I'm fixing everything. And voila. So Now I'm going to draw your specs. And we don't need much of your eyes and uh, your glasses a bit wider on the top and almost following the shape of your eyebrows and following the shape of your nose as well so pay attention to the distance between two halves and then the frames Okay, so let's draw your hair. Usually I draw really high uh, forehead, like the lens of your nose from the tip of the nose till the area between eyebrows. So, and her cup is covering the top of your ears and goes beyond her skull, it's really high. we have some curls below your ears. I really want to fix your jawline. I want everything in comparison with your face to look bigger. So I want to reduce a bit the size of your jaws. Okay, fine. I'm drawing your neck. Next, chest, breasts, and her hips. So at the um, level of the side of her neck, I have her knee. So basically, if I make long, long vertical line, they're laying on the same line. And her ankle of this front leg is right in the middle. It's just below her chin. If you make a line from her chin down, then they intersect. And her other knee is just close, a bit lower than the first knee. 
and you know you just draw the other side very close so next I'm putting on her clothing the top is like a kimono like so first I draw the inner line of the collar which looks like this loop or like drop and the outer line goes a bit higher behind her neck and it has two halves so collar and uh, lapel so and then we have these two sleeves and I'm just adding some folds let's make these folds a bit higher where the fabric is stuck into the belt or where it's, it's not tucked into the belt but it's fixed by the belt the big one at the waistline and we have a smaller one over here and here I'm drawing her back so first I'm drawing this triangle at the angle so pay attention that the left line is almost vertical and the right line is at the angle so we can see the bottom of the back and then we have the handles and there are some chain and we have a small key there is something metallic below your back so I'm just drawing it and here we have some notebook so the lower part of your jacket And under that jacket we have the skirt. So here's the hemline. Let's make it a bit higher so we can see her ankles and we can see her uh, tights. So one half has this drawing with vase and uh, naturemore and the uh, other part is black. So but we will deal with that when we will render her skirt. So let's draw her sandals. So the fastening. So first I draw square, then an, an, a bit bigger one around it. And everything is above the bones. And then strap and your fingers. Front is quite flat. Don't draw it very pointed, otherwise she'll look like she's standing on her toes. And her back foot. A bit different angle, she, since she's lifting her uh, foot. And here we have the excess. of the shoe mm -hmm. so next uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to outline everything that we need with a fine line pen and erase pencil since your hair is very light we don't need to outline your hair in this case but for all the other details you're free to outline and I also don't recommend to outlining lips since they are red and black fine liner will look like um, like a pencil here uh, let's just finish drawing the details of your bag we have the fastening some uh, on the corners we have this metal
I'm using Patty Color when rendering skin for the shadows. So now I'm showing shadows under her nose, lower part of her nose, uh, under her cheekbones, under lips, hairline, under her chin, and all the details. And next, take almond color or any lighter value and color everything, including the shadows. So next, I colored your glasses with caramel and now I'm mixing caramel with black. And I start from the top, so all black spread on the top mostly. And then I go down and my marker gets cleaner and cleaner and I get this gradient. And then just spread marker on clean paper, just to, you know, to clean it. So next I'm using warm gray 3, adding some shadows under her chin. More of the patty color for more contrast on her face. Next take purple pencil and uh, with a purple pencil I add extra shadows like now above her nostrils, like lower part of her nose and uh, making stronger shadows, you know, just like sculpting of the face when you do makeup. Um, and uh, yeah, so, but don't overdo, you need some balance. Next, with white ink gel pen, I'm adding highlights on her face, like tip of the nose, just above the purple part, and on her glasses, on her chin. And uh, with um, like a burgundy color of, uh, of pencil, I'm, I'm adding shadows on her lips and just lightened up her teeth a bit and reducing the size of that part with just normal mechanical pencil. So the scale is small, you can do it. Extra highlights. Next I'm adding this Leopard print with a fine liner. And now with white ink gel pen I'm adding highlights on the frames of her specs. Let's show some eyebrows, they're still a bit visible. And for really light blonde, like champagne color, I'm using Primrose Pro Marker. You can use any light uh, marker or pencil, like light yellow. And next I'm using white pencil uh, for the highlights on her face, which are not that strong uh, to use white ink gel pen. So next, warm gray 3, adding shadows on her hair, well, m mostly on the sides uh, and where she has the parting of her hair. With eyes gray 2, I'm drawing just lines, like horizontal, vertical lines or uh, like corner shape on the sides of her cap. And next, with cool gray 1, I'm doing the same. Just drawing some lines along um, the lower hem and the upper one. This is the shapes that I just drew, like quite simple. And next, I'm using warm gray three, just below your cap, to show strong shadows and a bit on the sides. Next, I'm using golden pencil. I have a Prisma Color Premier set of color pencil uh, that has 48 colors, so I'm using like a golden pencil that it has. Here I'm adding a little bit of white ink gel pen. And here, just pencil on marker gives this feeling of hair. And at the same time, it is very blurry which doesn't let you see like each hair actually this is the shapes that i use to show those curls adding more of warm gray 3 
for the shadows and add a little bit below her specks on her cheeks because we should have shadows there too. Next, I'm drawing this brocade pattern on her jacket. Well, I'm going to draw less of them. I'm going to draw them a bit bigger. And don't worry if you if you don't get exactly this pattern. So we have I'm using just blue fine line pen. Like you can use any. I'm going to use it together with the Royal Blue Pro Marker and uh, they're not exactly the same color but you know the it won't be that visible so your fine liner should be just a little bit similar to your marker so for example here for the thinner details I'm using fine liner and for the wider parts I'm using marker. Because uh, because marker has really thick nib and uh, for this small pattern it's uh, impossible to go that thin. You can make your own pattern, uh, maybe today you'll get inspiration for some uh, brocade pattern of your own and, and you can actually draw it and maybe tomorrow produce it. So I hope it will be beautiful and inspirational and eco-friendly. So now as you can see I colored everything in between with royal blue and with fine liner, just f blue fine line pen. I'm uh, refining the details, the edges. So they are sharp and my leaves look like leaves, not just like some islands or um, some abstract shapes. So we shouldn't lose this tropical pattern after coloring. So next step I'm using uh, indigo blue. Actually for all this I didn't plan to use uh, royal blue nor indigo blue. I plan to use midnight blue because it is similar to the color on the original uh, of the original design but I put somewhere in my marker so I had to use this mix so now I'm using khaki color and making just dots on all of these leaves and I use this marker very often when I uh, render gold because I think gold really it doesn't look that yellow it looks a bit desaturated so and khaki works really well for that so um, this is the other half, I just omitted this part of the video because it's the same process. And again, khaki dots. So as you can see, my dots are quite thick. Next I'm using warm grey 5 and I'm touching very lightly and very fast to get smaller dots than before so very very fast and not pushing hard at all you can leave some parts um, with less of dots if you feel like there you want to um, leave some highlights <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so next I'm adding white dots. And now I'm adding specifically, sometimes I even color certain parts where I feel like I want them shining. When you have an um, image, like reference image that you are redrawing, then it's easy. But um, when you draw your own design, you can just, you know, as you can see in some places, I colored certain leaves or you can outline or if you have some fold over there, then the top of the wall fold will be lighter. So, but just don't worry, just make some segments lighter and others are darker. So, no need for huge science over here to get like general beautiful result. So next I'm using cool gray five for the shadows. You see, I added on the side of the sleeve and there uh, you remember we drew the folds that, uh, you know, go from your belt to the sides and also some shadows below your collar and lapel and after that I'm adding some highlights with correction pen because whiting gel pen it a little bit blends with the background and uh, it's not that opaque so next I'm using caramel for your leather belt and I'm mixing it with black marker that I spread on plastic surface to make the sides a bit darker. For your bag I'm using China Blue which is uh, a really light soft blue and um, at first I'm coloring just all of it for the handlings I'm using Indigo Blue and for this detail as well. For the lower belt I'm using Cool Gray 5 and your notebook is like yellow, just yellow. And I'm coloring the lower half of your jacket just in the same way as I worked with the upper part. Uh, skin tone for your arms. And one half of your skirt is going to be black. So as a base, I'm using cool gray five and just coloring it. For now, that's enough. Le let's leave it to dry. So now I'm using golden pencil that I used for hair to color these metal details. Cool gray five for the shadows below the back and more of blue on the sides. Black pencil for the shadows under the fastening and a bit of black on the metal details. Now we're adding highlights with white ink gel pen everywhere, like the corners, the fastening, uh, more of the blue. So again, warm gray five, just the same way as we worked with the upper part. So with black pencil, adding some shadows adding black on it on the belt again it's shadows with a cool gray five I'm going to add some shadows on the side of that bag and I colored the side of that notebook as well as you can see notepad <laughs> So, and some shadows inside, and there are some corners as well, with a metal, like, pins. We have some lace on her belt, and in between I'm coloring with blue fine liner. With black pencil I'm adding shadows. And with fine liner, I'm showing this thread line with dash, with dashes. Next, I'm going to try to redraw this print, and I'm going to use colored pencils to uh, to give it this artistic look. So as if it's really drawn, as if it's painting. And in our case, 
to make it different, it's going to be something that is different from markers. So let's start. I'm trying to match my pencil colors. So just pick whichever colors you have. Um, in this case, it's a bit um, blue that has some violet in it. And the other apple has some green and red, maybe a bit orange even, some orange and red. I'm adding some burgundy. So now I'm not going to comment that much because I'm just picking different colors and you will see which colors I'm using. And the only thing that here, I'm using golden pencil for this surface and I'm yeah just making these diagonal strokes and I'm adding some brown so it's not too light for the shadows I'm using black pencil and for the top I'm going actually to use um, marker which is royal blue that we used previously and look how i outline the edges of the flowers so you know like quite textured lines here you can use just normal marker or pencil i just didn't use my pigment markers for so long so i decided to give them a try but they are really like very, very old and drying. So, but as you can see, they're really fun. Like they look a bit like paint. Next I'm using like a really bright orange, like a mandarin color of pencil. And uh, well, I just try to draw what I see, like some shapes, sometimes a huge, red shapes and then some strokes next to it, some curly strokes next to it and mostly for all these flowers the right side is darker it has more of the pigment than the left side but uh, yeah it's just uh, really hard to comment sometimes because when you draw you just draw you like not meant to be uh, explained I think <laughs> so and in between I'm using some blue and drawing some green leaves and then I'm just coloring the background I hope you are watching in a full screen mode because uh, then you can see more of the details and those strokes will be, you know, bigger and then you can see what I'm drawing. So next this apple, a little bit of green. I think um, I will alter a little bit the pattern because um, I think I will not have enough of the space to draw it in the same way. And I will use fine liner. Mm -hmm. So we also have these violet watermelon. have this blue but this blue is a bit warmer it's a bit closer to turquoise so I picked different pencil <laughs> and 
we have this blue banana so I mixed blue with violet and now let's color the table and here we have this black plate so I'm going to draw it just with black pencil and the rest of the table and some brown and shadows and now I'm going to draw these uh, highlights on her skirt we have some wrinkles over there so I'm just showing the highlights with white pencil and the shadows with a black pencil so we have the shadows under the notepad and just on the top, on the sides of that fold. Usually when there is a fold, the top is light and both sides are dark. So here is the top of the fold. And the side should be a bit darker. And here also there is a side of the skirt in general. So here also be darkening the edge. So next I want uh, to give more of a painted look to these flowers so I'm adding these edges with a correction pen to the flowers and I'm showing these uh, fallen petals on the table in this uh, really thick stem of the flower but it, it's fine I mean I think it looks artistically like that and some shadows Okay, fine. I'm quite happy with what we've got. And now I'm using black marker on the other side to show the shadows because uh, Cool Gray 5 was uh, the color that we are left for, for highlights. So now we're going to leave just highlights and the rest we're going to color with black. So here I just... Uh, yeah, just some vertical lines and... Um, adding some cool gray 5 so we don't have too much of light area and once it dries it becomes lighter anyways okay so let's uh, render your tights and here we have argyle pattern which is uh, this pattern made of diamonds of different colors so we have here black and uh, red diamonds and red ones for red ones i'm going to use a lipstick red pro marker like any red will work like any scarlet red and uh, for the rest i'm using ice gray five and we're leaving your tooth because they open so we're not coloring there so adding some shadows under her skirt with warm gray 5. Next, take black pencil and add some shadows on the sides of her tights. And next, I'm using cardinal red for her sandals really beautiful red as you can see it's a bit colder than uh, lipstick red it's a bit closer to magenta and now I'm making these dashed lines that cross the centers of these diamonds and we get this beautiful argyle pattern and uh, we have also this lines on the sandals mm -hmm. 
Next I'm using skin tone like Patty for your tooth. You can add some shadows. And uh, I use just normal pencil to show the nails. Okay, so here is our final work. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please share your questions and suggestions in the comment section below. Subscribe to SK your channel for more tutorials. Become a patron for exclusive tutorials. And follow Sketcher on Instagram for any news or giveaways. And see you next tutorial.